Welcome back to the channel. My name is Clay Wong and today is a very good day. We've finally been able to get our hands onto some tasty new parts for the Kanjuzoku style build Honda Civic EK4. Amidst COVID restrictions and a host of manufacturing delays, it has really been a long time coming. So I can't wait to get all these parts fitted onto the car. We've got a lot of things to do on the agenda for today, guys. So without any more further ado, let's get straight into it. Alright guys, just before I show you the front end of the EK4 with all the new Type R parts fitted, I actually just wanted to show you some history and information that I found out about the EK4 Civic. It turns out that the previous owner actually hadn't owned this car for more than three months. I was contacted by the previous owner before him about the EK4 because she saw one of my YouTube videos and she gave me a full rundown about all the information and literally everything there is to know about the EK4 that I now have. And she sent me through a bunch of photos. This is actually how the EK4 looks. I don't know if you can actually see this, but I'll put up a bunch of photos that she sent me about the EK4. And it's actually so interesting because all of the issues and concerns that I had about the EK4, she actually highlighted them all to me. And I actually mentioned all these issues in the why not to buy a 90s Honda Civic video. And it's just so funny because every single point I had, she actually touched upon. And so the black rubber molding along the side of the car is actually due to the side skirts. And a lot of you watching actually picked that up. I saw a lot of the comments about that, which was really cool. And she also mentioned as to why the front passenger guard was actually black. And that's because one of the suspension arms actually broke off. And I don't know the true extent of damage or if everything's okay, but that was the reason why it actually was replaced into a black panel. And that also also gives me the impression that she actually wrapped the headliner of the EK Civic because over time they tend to sag. However, aside from all those things, she actually did a whole lot of maintenance items on the EK4. So she changed the clutch to an XCD heavy duty. She fitted BC Racing coilovers. She also changed the S4C gearbox into one that was a little bit newer and in better condition. And honestly, having a look at all these photos, it really showcases how this car was looked after. She definitely did some few tasteful mods like the EK9 rear wing spoiler. However, it was definitely used as a daily driver and you can see the front bar, it's honestly completely hammered. But it's so interesting and cool to find out all this information about this car. And it's safe to say that this car has had a few owners and it's definitely been passed around. However, in my ownership, I really hope to take it up to that next level. If you guys wanna see more of the Kanjo Racer build series, consider subscribing to the channel and let me know in the comments below as to other things you wanna see me do for the car moving forward. Now, just before I show you guys the new front end, there's gonna be a little bit of a roadblock, guys, because I've just got a message from one of my YouTube subscribers and he's considering selling one of his cars. So he shot me through a couple photos of it and it really looks promising. So we're gonna go check it out. I don't know if this video is gonna be specifically about the EK4 or it's gonna be about me potentially picking up this new car. So whatever it is, guys, stay tuned. You don't wanna miss out. Let's go. So this is a little bit unexpected. Didn't think I'd be uh, looking at another EG, but this one just came up. I got a message from the owner of this vehicle and honestly, it presents pretty well. Do it. <laughs> oh. Talk to me. Can you wait? 
All right, guys, I think we've done a deal and I'm going to be buying Pacific EG. I'll explain all about the car to you guys later on, but I'm so wrapped, guys. Take care, man. All right, guys, we just picked up the brand new project car. I know it seems like I've got so many of these things, but I actually love them. And I've got a really exciting idea with this particular EG. And you guys are going to be seeing it very soon on the channel. I think I've got a few too many projects and admittedly it's going to take me a long time to get around to actually working on this car. I've just put on my seatbelt. So now we're going to go head back home and analyze this EG to a T and see how it is. Second gear. Foot buried to the floor. Okay, there's one bad thing about manual windows and that's the fact that you really struggle closing passenger windows and this is definitely the slowest car I have ever driven in my entire life. <laughs> Alright guys, let me introduce to you my brand new Honda Civic EG project. This is another car that I've added to the collection of Hondas and it's actually a really clean example of a Honda Civic EG. Nowadays in today's climate, it's super hard to get one because of everyone going crazy for these old 90s JDM icons. And because it's a Honda Civic EG, there's just so much potential to be had out of this car. And as you guys know, with a K swap or with a B swap, there's so much power that can be had with this car. And it's just so much fun to drive. This is a 1993 Honda Civic EG3, and it's a carby model. So it's the baseline with no power windows, nothing really at all. It's as basic as it gets, but that means it's not really that bad of a car because it's the most lightweight of all of them. And I really like that about this car because it doesn't really have that much power at all. Being a carby as I drove down the highway, it is extremely slow. There is like no power in this thing. I'll give you guys a quick walk around overview of this car. It's got 230,000 Ks on the clock. It was recently purchased from the original owner of this vehicle. And Honestly, it presents better than my Honda Civic EK4, which is directly beside it. And since we're on the topic of the EK4, let's talk a little bit about it. So at the start of this video, I didn't think I'd be picking up a brand new Honda Civic EG. And so we were just planning to fit on the new front bar that I picked up. And if you guys have paid close attention, you'll know that this is the EJ8 or the Honda Civic pre-facelift type R bar. I've also fitted a silver passenger front guard to replace that black guard that I had and this was actually already pre-rolled so I didn't need to do any fender rolling for that guard and honestly it looks a whole lot better once it's been painted it's gonna look so good I've also got the type R front lip but I wanted to have that professionally fitted because you only really have one shot at fitting that front lip but it really looks so nice with this front end and I can't wait to have this whole car painted, restored and looking brand spanking new again. But the EK4 has really come a long way and I want to say a huge shout out to my mate Tom and also Kelby. It's been so much fun working on this thing and now I've got two of them. Both silver, both Honda Civics, both from the early 90s and I actually love them so much. But let's get on with it. I didn't think I'd be getting another EG so we're going to continue this walk around with the car. Honestly, it really looks a treat. It's got this Jollibee sticker. The owner is actually Filipino. And I like that touch he had 
his little kid in here as well so there was a full baby seat in the back as well as baby on board but I think he's taken all those things off it's got just a few aftermarket modifications it's got a little muffler there a big 16 inch set of wheels with some RE003s to help the handling of this car it's also got some aftermarket rear braces I don't know if they're genuine ASR or not but they do help with the overall stability of the EG and this car has a beautiful EG6 SIR steering wheel I have so much OCD right now because it's not centered that thing is worth a whole lot he's also updated it with LEDs for the gauge cluster which is super sick I really like that touch on this car but overall honestly this EG is in really good condition and I'm really happy with how it is and I'm honestly thinking about doing something to this car and putting it towards my K-Swap EG. If you guys have any ideas on what I should be doing with my new project EG, let me know in the comments below what you want to see done to this car because I have a few plans for it. Not really certain on what I want to do. I've got a whole list of project cars as you guys know and it's just amounting to be a whole lot of work but it's going to mean a whole lot more epic content for you guys here on YouTube. So I want to say a huge thank you to everyone for watching this video. It really means a whole lot. And if you guys have enjoyed it, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button in the comments below. Tell me what you think about the new Honda Civic EG project as well as what you think about the new front end on the EK4. And as well as that, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Please take care. Bye for now.